You're in for a treat, no tricks, when you visit the dazzling Halloween displays at Rogers Gardens in Corona Del Mar, California. This premium nursery is often packed at this time of year, and it's no wonder when you see the level of attention to detail at Rogers Gardens, one of the best plant nurseries in California. We last visited Rogers Gardens in the summer, but now the attention has shifted to the fall and Halloween decorations. As fall begins today, I'm sure many of you are anticipating the cool nights and changing colors of the autumn season. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Anna and I'm a gardener, writer, and editor who wants to share the beauty of nature and gardening with others. If you find this content enjoyable or useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's free and it really helps us grow. Here in Southern California, it is rare to see much change in the leaves before October or even November, but Rogers Gardens has all the fall color that you want to see with a huge variety of pumpkins, squash, and flowers for your fall display. Many of the items should last through Thanksgiving in late November. And while mums are always a favorite, the flowers often only last a week or so. So make sure you buy a plant where the buds are still closed if you want to maximize your display. And you may want to like switch them out every couple of weeks so that you can have mums throughout the season. So for example, on this display here, you can go for the mums maybe that are a little bit farther back where they're more tightly closed and they're not open yet. You, it may seem nice to have mums that are already blooming and maybe that's what you want um, if you're buying them for the, the, you know, the next few days, but I really suggest that you try to maximize your, your mums by buying them when they're still closed. I really like all the different varieties of pumpkins and here are some other flower options if you don't want to mess with mums. I think that some of these colors are really nice for fall and for Halloween. And um, you'll notice that that flower even was driving hummingbirds. But these are a good choice. These are Rubeckia. I think Black Eyed Susan is the other name. These are really nice. And so are these marigolds. These are both really nice for cutting flowers. You can bring them inside. And so that might be a choice for you. You can also look into sunflowers, those are nice. But now we're gonna be set to enter the gathering, which is their Halloween boutique. It's open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, I believe through Halloween. And it is a really fun place to enter. Now they have all kinds of Halloween decor from the scariest you know, skeletons to the cutest little cats and bats. These are gardening hats. Oh my goodness. They look like um, professional, Professor Hufflepuff's <laughs> from Hogwarts. Uh, sorry, her. I love her little hat. It kind of looked like that. It reminded me of that. But I just had so much fun wandering through and checking out all the beautiful displays and really had a fun time. Look at how beautiful... All these different decorations are I really think there's something in here for everybody now I like to decorate with a lot of different pumpkins and you know like bring in some fall flowers that kind of thing uh, I like different squash and I have a few decorations that are like cute little animals now, what kind of decorations do you prefer? Do you like the scary stuff or do you like the, the cuter things? I feel that a lot of cuter things, they're just like, it's like if it's a cat with a pumpkin, you, then you can use that through Thanksgiving versus, you know, having these skull candles. I don't think that you would have those out much longer than Halloween in most people's cases. Um, I'm sure everybody's different, but yeah, we usually put up our Halloween and fall decorations around this time and then keep them up through Thanksgiving. I just take away the things that are like definitely Halloween themed um, and leave up the fall stuff. So is that something that you do at your house too? Let me know.
you don't even feel like decorating for Halloween or the fall, but you want to really make your place look nice, Rogers Gardens has a beautiful selection of orchids and all types of indoor plants that will really help beautify your space. And this is one of my favorite places to find rare and unusual orchids. I love how they do the groupings by color and really do an amazing job of paying attention to all of those little details. These are really high quality plants and really nice decoration and nice, nice decor ideas. I really like their succulent garden ideas, including the hanging gardens. I have a block wall that is kind of ugly going around my house and I'm thinking about adding some beautiful wall decorations. I think those are different kinds of peppers that you can use to decorate as well. And then look at all the little pumpkins. They have all different kinds of pumpkins, like pretty much every kind of pumpkin that you can imagine, you can find it at Rogers Gardens. showing you a great selection of the California native plants that you can find at Rogers Gardens. I have a very specific reason for showing California native plants at this time and that's because it's about time in October, November, December. That is the best time to plant California native plants in most areas of California because it allows the plants to establish at a time when we're getting those nice cool rains. So if you plant in the summer, you may not get the results that you want with California native plants, depending on which region you're in. I advise if you live inland to wait until October to plant a lot of these uh, California natives because they wind up really needing that cool weather to really get established. In an upcoming video, I'm going to be transforming one of my gardens into a native, a California native plant garden. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content with that. I'm also going to be showing you some of the best nurseries in Southern California for you to find California native plants. And that's going to include three of my favorite native plant nurseries in California. I'm also going to be showing a great tour of Sherman's Library and Gardens, which is also in Corona Del Mar. So make sure that you're subscribed for that. Thanks for sticking around for a sneak peek of the Christmas or holiday boutique that they'll be opening up soon at Rogers Gardens. If you look at this right here, they're actually working on building a model railroad set. So starting October 3rd, you're gonna be able to see both the Christmas decorations and the Halloween decorations. So it's a great time to visit Rogers Gardens. I advise that you go during the week to beat the crowds if you can. And don't forget to watch and subscribe.